Hello, I'm Cody Whipple with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and today I'm going to introduce you to the water cycle. Globally, about 70% of the Earth's surface is actually covered by water. 97% of that 70% is actually salt water found in the Earth's oceans, and it's not available for us to use as a freshwater resource. The remaining 3% is fresh water, However, less than 1% of that fresh water is actively going through the water cycle and is available for us to use as a resource. In Pennsylvania, we have over 86,000 miles of flowing waterways, over 4,000 inland lakes and impoundments, and 63 miles of Lake Erie shoreline. So we have a lot of water in Pennsylvania. However, understanding that water is not an infinite resource is important. Water is a finite resource, so understanding how it moves through the water cycle will only help you in understanding how to conserve and enhance wildlife populations, fisheries populations, and improve your own communities as well. So now I'm gonna to introduce to you the pathways for how this water moves through that water cycle. And we actively have one of these pathways occurring right now, and that's precipitation, but we will get to that. Flip this over. The very first thing I'm going to show you, this is represents a river or a lake or some type of freshwater resource in Pennsylvania. The first path we're going to talk about is evaporation. So energy from sunlight is going to actively hit this water and that water is going to turn from liquid water into water vapor and enter the Earth's atmosphere. As this travels up, that water condenses and forms clouds. In clouds, water droplets are actively colliding and becoming heavier and heavier. Once they become so heavy, they will actually fall to the Earth's surface, and that's what's actively happening right now. We have precipitation. So precipitation can occur in the form of rain, sleet, and even snowfall as well. Those are all forms of precipitation. So that water then returns to the Earth's surface, and then through a process known as infiltration, can actually enter a pathway through that we call groundwater, and that groundwater can flow and replenish the freshwater resource that, we would, that we're talking about, whether it be a lake, a river, or a stream in Pennsylvania. Another pathway for which it might return is surface runoff. So you have all these different valleys and low points in Pennsylvania where water flows. So as this water hits the Earth's surface, it can actually enter these smaller streams and replenish that lake, river, or that stream through a smaller stream through this process of surface runoff. Also, when it snows and we have that snow melt, that snow melt is another way for that water to return to these sources via surface pathway. Another quick pathway that we want to mention is transpiration. So this is actually water evaporating from leaves via the process, through the process of photosynthesis and returning and condensing in the clouds through that pathway as well. So we actively have the water cycle occurring. It's occurring around you all the time, but today we have an especially great view of the water cycle actively happening. We have the active precipitation. Down below us, we have the west branch of the Susquehanna River as our source. So that is an area where evaporation can occur. We have tons of trees around us. So that's a process for photosynthesis and thus transpiration to return that water vapor to the Earth's atmosphere. We've got a lot of cloud cover today. And you can even see off in the distance near the peaks of the mountains, we have some water vapor condensing and actually forming those clouds. Because of all the rain, you can't really see it right now, but everywhere that you see a valley or a depression, there's a small stream. So that is also an area where the surface runoff can occur. Now it's really starting to rain. I should probably take some cover or get inside so I don't get completely soaked. If you want to learn more about Pennsylvania, waterways and the water cycle, you can visit fishingboat.com.